Getting the masters in cybersecurity guarantees you 200k. Keep watching the video to find out. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy HD and I'm back and this is a different reaction video. Uh today is an article I've had for about 2 weeks now. I've been very busy. I haven't been able to really get into it like I wanted to, but I'm going to spend a little time on it and talk about it. And um it's pretty much an article from fortune.com and it's talking about graduates from uh, I think Berkeley, Berkeley's Master's of Cybersecurity program on getting 200k upon graduation, but you don't want to hear me say this. We're going to actually look at everything. Let's get into the article. Graduates with a master's degree in cybersecurity are reporting an average salary of $214,000. When it comes to job demand, it's hard to beat the field of cybersecurity. By 2025, there'll be an estimated 3.5 million unfilled cybersecurity jobs across the globe. According to Cybersecurity Ventures, a researcher and publisher that covers the international cyber economy, and that follows a 350% growth in the numbers of open cybersecurity jobs between 2013 and 2021. I can agree because in 2013, it was not as like it was now. I can honestly tell you that. I was looking at tweet. As practically all elements of work, life, and everything in between now have a digital component, the need to secure our information from cybersecurity threats has only grown. With that growth, master's degree programs in cybersecurity have also flourished. The jobs market is insane. For cybersecurity, says Mary McHale, a career advisor for the Masters of Information and Cybersecurity program at the University of California, Berkeley. The university lent the number one spot on Fortune's first ever ranking of the best online master's degree program in cybersecurity. Hey, check this out. Now, look at this. So, if you can't tell, Berkeley is paying for this to be broadcast through Fortune because they got the number one spot. I'm just going to point that out right there for you. When you look at the opportunity and demand, it's tremendous. Whether contending with cyber criminals who wish to turn a profit from stealing information or challenging nation states that wish to do us harm, cybersecurity professionals are in an interesting and ever evolving field. And UC Berkeley grads are landing jobs with salaries of more than 200,000. Here's what you need to know. In June, Lakshmi Hanspaugh, the global chief security officer for Amazon Devices and Services, was the keynote speaker for Berkeley's MICS Emerging Program. Let's get right here. Many master's degree candidates in cybersecurity programs take part in summer internships with companies before graduating. Most come back with an offer or full-time employment when they finish, says Mustak Ahmad, a professor in the School of Cybersecurity and Privacy at Tech. You have a job lined up, absolutely. So I don't know, right there, he's referring to undergrad or grad, because I'm not too familiar with people in grad school doing internships if they are already currently working. That's me, ignorance, but a lot of people I went to grad school with already had jobs now some didn't and that was a little different for them but for the most part most of them had while a master's degree in cybersecurity or related subject like computer science isn't required to work in cybersecurity it goes a long way to inform graduates on the latest trends and happenings in the field a master's degree is going to prepare you for the high skilled top level careers or mindset a master's degree is essentially going to make you a specialist in cybersecurity what does that even mean the uh Specialists doing what in cybersecurity? Like cybersecurity I um is I'm trying to make myself be a specialist doing what, okay? Um cybersecurity is like this big term, cybersecurity. You got all these other different things in cybersecurity where now you can actually specialize in one of those different things. So to say a very broad term is you're gonna be a cybersecurity specialist just because you have a master's is you know very disingenuous, you know, if I would say so myself. That's just me. How much can you make with a master's in cybersecurity? If you have a master's in cybersecurity, it's fairly common to earn a six-figure salary immediately after graduation. It's a profession that will pay you well, says Ahmad. The vast majority of graduates head out to the Microsofts and Googles and the Cisco's and the Intel. See? So, a person that's reading this that doesn't know, you have to really pay attention. Devils in the detail. These people are in California and their campus is probably close to Silicon Valley. And so they're close to these companies because they have big presences in California. And so that's why they're saying that's where they go. But the majority of people who get masters in cybersecurity are not going to Microsoft, Googles, and Cisco's and Intel's. They're going to all different type of organizations. So uh, anybody just reading this that doesn't know, this doesn't apply to everybody. So let me see if they actually say it. See, I guess they meant to say they should have said our graduates, and that's probably who uh, edited mistake. But I'm just clearing that up for people who don't understand that. A 
According to a UC Berkeley salary survey of alumni, graduates with a master's degree in cybersecurity make an average salary of $214,000, not including bonuses. The median salary is $200,000. Some graduates who are now executives, such as chief information security officers and chief technology officers, make more than $300,000. We can go into the CISO roles. They make more money. I'm going to go right here because I don't want to bore you guys because I'm going to give you my little tidbit. The median pay for computer programmers in 2021 was $93,000. And the median pay for information security analysts was $102,600. And the median income of computer network architects was $120,520 in 2021. Though graduates who work for the government generally make less money, the knowledge gains from becoming familiar with government systems that need to be secured can pay off if they eventually work for a major defense contractor. That is true. Because you do have the, uh, you have uh, Lockheed, you have uh, Raytheon. I know I'm missing some. Because I, I used to know some of the names. Um, I had, I guess, you know, I was a government contractor. Those are the, I think the two biggest ones that I kind of know. But there are others. All right, so that, that's pretty much it. I'll make sure I link this in the description now. What I do want to say that the article did not say is that it didn't elaborate if the people who got the master's, if they had any type of experience beforehand. Although schooling is great, just going to school, and I don't know, and this is, granted, this is me not knowing anything about their curriculum. I didn't go through and research their curriculum, right? But I'm going to assume that it is a good program. But I'm doing this on a on the premise of everyone thinking about going to get a master's. Just because you go get a master's in cybersecurity doesn't mean someone's going to just give you a 200k salary. You know, you have to think about that. If I look that up right now, if I, if I Google that right now, hang on. Okay, so I found a couple articles. This one said only about 10.1 million households in the country make 200k. And you got to realize, guys, I, I believe America has a population of what, 300 million so that's around three percent of the population of the country makes two hundred thousand dollars so that perspective i'm trying to put that in perspective view of saying that you know it that it's not gonna just happen just because you went and got a match there's people who uh I, don't, I guess you know when you go to law school stuff like that that's considered i don't know if it's considered like a master's but it's a a step above of what they were doing in undergrad some lawyers don't even make that you know, especially not just coming straight out of law school. So that's all I'm trying to say. It's like, I just want you to be realistic. You're going to get a master's. You probably will get, you know, six figure role, but it'll be low six figures. It won't be no 200K most of the time. Unless you already have a skill set and you already been working in the field. That's about it. If not, do not, you know, get your hopes up. Honestly, just because it, it just is what it is, man. So I just found that article uh, to be a little bit misleading. I, I, you can honestly tell it's to sway people to go to Berkeley's master's program. I get it. It's a good selling point to tell, hey, I graduated again 200K. So, you know, hey, if you, I don't know how much it costs, but if, if they have the ability to do it online, you can do it online, not to pay those uh, California state fee, move there. And then, hey, well, if you do get 200K and you stay in a, a cheaper state, by all means that you want you know but i just leave you with this like do what's best for your career do what's best for your pockets do what's best for your family that's always what i'm gonna tell everybody to do i never push anything on somebody just to do just because i want them to do it i said so do what you feel is best for you but hey guys that's kind of been another review of mine uh, if you liked it please um leave a comment down below share this out what do you think about making 200k with a master's of cybersecurity wage deal